Hello and welcome to IFS YouTube videos. My name is Jerry Browning and I'm the Product Manager for Enterprise Asset Management at IFS. In this video, we're going to create a calendar-driven PM from a task template. First, we're going to overview a task template that's set up for a monthly PM on an injection molding machine. Then, we're going to generate a PM action and associate it with the machine. After that, we'll go ahead and generate a PM work order from the PM generator. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see here, I've created a work task template, IMM-M1, for a monthly PM on an injection molding machine. You have the ID, the definition. I've gone ahead and set up the work type as PM. Operational status as a planned production stop. We'll pretend like we can't do this thing with production running and action within a week which makes sense for a monthly PM. Now let's go to the maintenance triggers tab. <clears throat> we can see that this is set up for a trigger type of calendar, an interval of a month, and a calendar interval of one, which means that a PM will generate once a month. Okay, so now if we go to the valid for sites tab, you can see that we've set the site up for the Des Moines plant, maintenance org M for maintenance, and it's valid, which means that we don't have an error with anything that we've set up on our planning. Let's go to our planning on the work list. I've set up simple steps one, two, and three. A resource group of mechanics in Des Moines. And we'll pretend like we require a filter or something to that extent for a monthly PM. And we'll just call it SP1, spare part one. Once we're satisfied with the setup of the work task template, let's go to the main template screen. And here you can see that we've activated this, which you do from the status. Now we could obsolete it if we needed to. We'll go ahead and hit generate PM action. Set our site to DSM. Our object ID to, we'll say, injection molding machine number two. And let's go ahead and hit OK. You can see a pop-up saying PM Action 200499 was created. OK, so let's go to our new PM Action 200499, which is Maintenance, Preventive Action, PM Action, PM Action. And I pulled up 200499. Before we see anything, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and activate it. So let's activate this guy. If we look in our maintenance plan, we can see that it's due to generate on the first week of August. So, let's generate this guy. The way to do that, we'll go ahead and walk through the screens. Go back to home. If we go to maintenance, preventive maintenance, maintenance plan, calendar generator. Uh, make sure our site's set right. We go to our DSM site. We know the week was 2032. And we'll set it for our maintenance org. We don't want to set off somebody else's PMs. And we will hit OK. And we'll use our recent screens. Go back to our PM actions. And if we look at our maintenance plan, we can scroll over. Of course, you got to make sure that you want, you're on table view, not list view. We can scroll over and see that work order 204111 was generated. If I go here back to the ellipsis, I can go to prepare work order. And from here we can see that we generated a work order that needs to be executed. And this concludes the video on creating a calendar driven PM from a work task template. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the IFS YouTube channel.